floor. Let's go right to NBC's Luke Russert, who's on uh, Capitol Hill. Luke, what do you have? Well, David, I was in the gallery while Mr. Stupak was speaking in favor of the Democratic health care bill and uh, going against the GOP motion to recommit. And I was right above on the second level over by the side where Republicans sit and a GOP member, we do not know who, uh, he sounded like he had a southern accent, yelled, baby killer. That is baby killer at Bar Stupak, uh, who we all know is an ardent pro-life Democrat from Michigan who actually held up uh, this health care process to the very end because of his pro-life views. But uh, that is what I heard in the gallery. That's what a lot of other members of the media heard. Uh, there's obviously a huge scramble right now. Now to try to figure out who exactly this member is. Uh, most likely this guy will reach Joe Wilson uh, iconic status with some people in the country. Uh, but definitely an interesting incident, uh, somewhat, I guess you could say, outside the rules of uh, respectful decorum in the House, uh, happened again here tonight during the health care debate, David. And uh, Luke, what would be the, uh, the ramifications? I mean, I, I gather they're not supposed to even be sort of the personal remarks from one member to the next. Presumably yeah. uh, Democratic leadership would be in fear over this as well. There is definitely some anger amongst uh, Democrats. I saw one Democrat aide coming out of here, uh, kind of very angry guy asking members of the press, who was it, who was it, who was it? Uh, I don't think this will be nearly as big a deal as Joe Wilson, because Joe Wilson obviously did call out the President of the United States and stood up. Uh, this gentleman, whoever it may have been that yelled baby killer, was seated. Uh, but that being said, it will certainly be an issue we'll see all over cable TV in the next few days, and a little back and forth about how uh, partisanship has gotten to be so bad in Washington, uh, where some guy who is probably, arguably, one of the most pro-life Democrats we've seen in recent history could be called a baby killer uh, after getting an executive order to uphold the Hyde Amendment. You'll hear Democrats uh, spin that a lot, and you'll hear Republicans saying it was an isolated incident, and uh, it will happen again. It'll be interesting to see. Lucas, we watched the